Alright, so I'm going over to mom's house. We need to do some running around. I want to make sure she's okay. Talked to her this morning already. She seems to be in good spirits. I'm um, going to do a little shopping, get her walking. Um, got some more stuff I need to pick up to start the floor. So, and mom likes to come along for that kind of stuff. Uh, one of the things we need to do is go to the bank and uh, get mom a new ATM card because I lost hers uh, when I paid her um, co-payment in the hospital. I stuck the card in my wall in my pocket and when I got to the car it was not there anymore. I was never able to find it I had to cancel it. So that's the first thing we need to do. Let's go Good to the bank. Good afternoon everybody. <laughs> I uh, had another rough night. Uh, I know you yeah. woke me up at four with a migraine. Yeah. And uh, just not doing too great. I don't know what's going on, but just not doing great. But I'm here having some lunch with mom. And mom's doing fine. She had no problems with her vertigo this morning. I have to get medication though. Yeah, I still have to get the medication. So. And you still have to go get the eye drops for mm -hmm. Boomer. We're getting eye drops and uh, oh, I still have shopping. to deal with other medications for Megan. So. so I have a busy day. We have a busy day. Is that any good? It's very good. Oh, good. Jack in the box. Buttery uh, hamburger, very good. Good because buttery sounds kind of gross to me on a burger. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm having a sourdough jack, and I took the the um, <laughs> lettuce and tomato off. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having my greasy tacos. So let the complaining begin. Angie and Justin. Well, Angie said she does not know how you could eat those things. They're tasty. I think Justin said that, too. <laughs> okay, so it's about um, 4.30 right now, and the temperature right now is 91 degrees. Val is out like a light. She uh, wasn't feeling good, and uh, she didn't have a good night last night, so she's sleeping. But uh, just about all the critters around here are just as wiped out. Me, I'm trying to find something to do. And uh, so I figured I'd take the camera with me. All the animals are pretty much uh, schnoozing out. There's Freckles. Hey, Freckles. And I don't know where the rest of them are. Me, I like the hot weather. I'm going to go out. I'm going to probably pick up some chicken for dinner tonight so Val doesn't have to do anything. And uh, see what else I can do. Okay, so the first thing I need to get is uh, one of Boomer's eye drops. It was uh, something that we had to pick up at CVS. They didn't have it at the, uh, the doctor's office. And CVS is apparently the only ones around who will take prescriptions for animals. And since I was not able to, to get them the last couple of days because of uh, everything that's been going on. So I'm going to go run and get that. And um, probably going to head over to our supermarket, pick up a cooked chicken, because I don't feel like cooking either. And uh, that'll make Val happy. She doesn't have to cook anything right now. So here we are at 
at CVS. Our dog has to wait to be invited in. Is he a vampire? Come on, baby, you can come in. Are you a vampire? It's every night we have to invite him into the bedroom. Nanny rolls over. You are so weird. I don't know why. We don't know why he does this. Well, we know why he lays on his back, but we don't know why he has to feel like he needs to be invited. But I'm forcing her to do shout outs. Not forcing me. I got up and did it. I started looking on my own. Okay, I forced her to wake up. Yes, that he did too. I probably could have slept all night long. All day long. And all night long. Because I am not feeling well at all. Um, okay. Sunshine. On oh. my shoulder. Makes me happy. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. And you're making us sing. <laughs> um, Pammy Clinton. She had to go to the emergency room today because she had a seizure. And uh -huh. we hope you're doing okay, Pammy. But she said she had a smile on her face because she got to watch our vlog while she was in the emergency room. So... We're glad that made you smile, but we still hope you're doing okay. Keep us updated. Everybody send out some prayers and, and loving thoughts to Pammy Clinton. Uh, Cole today, he said he's going to do a The Neighbors Vlogathon, and he's going to go back and watch all of our old vlogs. Well, thank you. We like to hear that. And uh, You must be having trouble sleeping, too. <laughs> Um, you'll see how we've gotten better through through the year. So. And we got that cricket. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, we did get that cricket. Hope you enjoy them, Cole, and thank you. We, we like when people go back and watch some of our old stuff. Witchell's 666. <laughs> she said she loved how I was having to meet yesterday. Yes, we need new Tupperware. <laughs> and she loved how you were with your salt shaker. <laughs> I should put it on my belt. Yeah, he should. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I haven't been able to stab anything because everything we've been making with nibbling with the neighbors hasn't required any stabbing, so I made up for lost stabbing time. <laughs> but um, we didn't put up a nibbling this week and we didn't put up a tag this week because this week as you all know has been kind of crazy for us um, but we will go back to doing that all next week so okay my question yesterday was what are you holding on to that you need that you should throw away and some people misunderstood my question um, some people thought emotionally, what are you need, holding on to that you need to let go of? And um, I know there's some people that answered that that way. And somebody also answered, um, he's holding on to the love of his wife, love for his wife. Well, that's something you don't want to let go of. So I think a couple people misunderstood that. Um, Jay, the cannabis explorer, is holding on to a blanket that he's had for years that is filled with holes. And that's the type of answer we were looking for. That, you know, he's holding on to this blanket that's full of holes, but he just can't let it go because it means something to him. Let it go. <laughs> and Terry Johnson's holding on to a box of magazines because she says she's going to read these magazines. 
and she doesn't read these magazines, but she can't throw them out because she's going to read these magazines. So that's the type of stuff we're looking for. What are you holding on to that you need to let go, that you need to throw out and get rid of? Well, I've got plenty of things I'm holding on to that I'm trying to keep you from throwing out. So you're always throwing out my t-shirts. I never throw them out. Never they, throw them out. They end up in the rag box. They go from his nice t-shirt drawer to his work t-shirt drawer to the rag box. Sometimes they just go right to the rag box. Yeah. Well. I got rid of a t-shirt that I had for many, 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 many years. And Kevin and his mother, when she was living here, hated my t-shirt. It was my Tigger t-shirt. Your Tigger t-shirt dissolved in the wash. <laughs> it had holes in it everywhere. But it was like one of my favorite comfy t-shirts that I would sleep in, that I would wear to lounge around the house in, that I would work in the garage in. And they threw it out. They threw it out. Oh. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> so, my question for today is, you hear the word fun. What comes to your mind? The very first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word fun, what do you think of? Keep it clean. <laughs> yes, this is a family channel. So keep it clean, guys. It's time for... Stick my finger in Kevin's mouth. <laughs> Just wait until you're sleeping. <laughs> Won't be much longer till I'm sleeping. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, today airs... Easy for you to say. Mama. <laughs> so yesterday's uh, trivia question had to do with the Beetlejuice 1988 movie and the question was why were the Maitlands never wet in the movie and it's pointed out that they actually came out into the house wet but then they were suddenly dry and it, it, the director and him they, they just decided that they weren't going to put them through that kind of pain to do an entire movie wet so and it's comedy so a lot of people don't really uh, you know Worry about it. Worry about that kind of thing. Looking for mistakes and stuff. There's a lot of mistakes in the movie. You just gotta accept it. It's a comedy. So, um, the ones that got this one correct was Terry Johnson, uh, YouTube Guide 1985, Van S, Greg Myers, and Brandon Windsor. Okay, today's trivia question has to do with. Um, I just forgot it. Oh, today's question. Has to do with arachnophobia. Ah, oh, really? It's a good movie. Ah, oh. John Goodman. It's another funny movie. Spiders. So tomorrow I'll have to do Eight-Legged Freaks because that's one of my favorites. Arachnophobia, John Goodman, 1990. What kind of spiders were were used? Because they used real spiders. That's why you like it so much. I can handle snakes. I can handle. I, I can pretty much handle anything except creepy, crawly type bugs. And spiders are in there. I don't like spiders and snakes. Uh, snakes I can handle. Snakes I can handle. Come on, do your thing. Snakes I can handle. It's gone too long. <laughs> well, then stop singing. Do your thing. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today <laughs> if it weren't There's for a all spider of you. Back there. If it weren't for all of you out there watching us. <laughs> Ow! See what you did? I didn't do anything. I was putting the book back. We love stop it! We love you all very much. Thumbs up. We will see you all tomorrow. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. Bye, bye.